For Asian American and Pacific Islander or API women, the Atlanta shooting is worrisome because it hits home. Six of the eight victims look like them. Sickening, saddening, and then all of that turns into anger. I just started crying. I, I thought, I can't keep my parents safe. Um, I can't keep my community safe. I am scared. My initial reaction was just tremendous grief. Yeah, it was painful. Although the suspect says it's not race related, officials are still investigating and have not ruled it a hate crime. A new report from Stop API Hate says they received nearly 3,800 hate incidents since the start of the pandemic, majority of which were women. Bakery owner Rose Nguyen says she's been on high alert. Yes, I'm scared, but I think overall I'm angered that I have to feel this way, that I have to worry about my staff, that I have to make sure everyone has pepper spray on them. As a reaction to the shooting Tuesday, New York City and Seattle Police Department increased patrols in their Asian American communities. The fact that these Asian owned businesses were targeted and that the majority of victims were Asian um, lets us know that there still is a threat to our safety, to our physical and mental and emotional safety that we need to address as a community. The Asian American Federation is pushing for more community outreach instead of more policing because of fears it may create more harm for unprotected immigrant populations. Race matters. The recognition and the visibility of the way in which Asian Americans have been racialized, the way in which Asian American women have been fetishized and objectified. For Newsy, I'm Kat Sandoval.